Hey guys, I'm filming this in Southern California. I'm visiting a friend of mine's house in, uh, in uh, what's it called again? Anyway, somewhere in Southern California, right near Hollywood. Somebody asked me if they can go into learning how to write code by just jumping into a framework. And I'm assuming frameworks like, for instance, PHP Laravel or Python Django or Ruby on Rails or Node, well, Node.js, but Node is a, uh, as an engine, but anyway, whatever. So the quick answer to that is no, you have to at least learn your basics first. You have to learn the basics of the languages first. And once you have your basics, and that means variables, functions, arrays, data types, object orientation, object oriented programming. And once you've gotten these simple things along that level, then you can jump into frameworks. And by jumping into a framework, the framework will allow you to even increase your skills and understanding of the basics even more so. I think about a framework like Laravel, like Django, is that they show you a refined structure. So a framework is just a library of code, if you will, that's set up in a particular structure that you can then use to uh, quickly build apps. And the thing about using a mature framework, it's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, but it's also going to teach you how to write clean code, assuming that you use a good framework like Django or like Laravel. Not all frameworks do it in the same way. In fact, some are very different from the others. They're all different some way or another, but the good thing about learning frameworks is that you will learn different approaches. But again, you shouldn't just jump into a framework without having learned how to program f at first. That's for sure. You have to at least learn the basics of the language. But fortunately, to get asked, you know, basic Python, basic Java script, basic PHP, basic Java, etc., it's not that much work. You can get it done pretty quickly and then you can start jumping into a framework right after that. So that's, I think that pretty much covers that. I know how it is. You're, when you're learning how to code, you really want to jump in and start doing practical things as quickly as possible. Uh, the thing is, is that you'll get tripped up a lot because if you don't understand the basics of coding and you don't understand the basics of programming and the nuances of a particular programming language that a framework is based on, then you could run into little troubles and hiccups. So it's just kind of good to go over it quickly, get it, get your head wrapped around it, and then you're ready to go. Now, if you've come to a particular language having programmed in another in another language, you're gonna you know probably if you're a programmer that it's just so much easier. For me, to learn a new programming language doesn't take me doesn't take me long at all. It takes me a few days and I'm up and running because they're all very, very similar in many respects. And that's about it. Just a quick update on the Python course. I, update, I uploaded some new stuff while I was here in California, but really I can't really record anything new here. So I'm going to be, when I get back starting this coming Monday, you're gonna see a lot of Python videos starting to hit the uh, collection really, really soon. I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to go big time. Bye-bye.